Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Welcome to your chemistry class of standard 9. I am your Lipamis and we will discuss on the last topic of this chapter that is limiting reactant and percentage of yield. At first limiting reactant. The reactant that is used first in a chemical reaction that means the reactant that restricts the amount of product that can be produced is called limiting reactant. Also you can define limiting reactant in another different ways such as among the reactant the amount of which reactant is less is known as limiting reactant or you can write the reactant which finished first in the reaction is called limiting reactant. In any way you can write the definition. And what is the meaning of this line? The reactant that restricts the amount of product. Actually from the amount of limiting reactants the amount of product is determined. Why? Because the amount of reactant actually form the definite amount of product combining with the other reactants and when the limiting reactant is finished then reaction is ultimately stopped so for this the amount of product is actually calculated from the amount of reactant limiting reactant Follow this example here from the balanced equation of water formation we know that the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1 that means 2 mole hydrogen combines with 1 mole oxygen to produce 2 mole water. Now suppose you have 8 moles hydrogen and 3 moles oxygen then which one will be limiting reactant. We know that the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen to form water is 2 is to 1. That means the amount of hydrogen is double of amount of oxygen. Here the amount of oxygen is 3 moles. So the needed amount of hydrogen would, will be 6 moles. But there is given 8 moles. So the amount of oxygen is less here. So oxygen will be the limiting reactant in this case and the amount of hydrogen is more than that of needed amount. So oxygen is the limiting reactant here. I hope you understand about the limiting reactant. Also follow this picture. Suppose this red color substance and this yellow color substance they are reactant of this reaction. Here one red color substance combines with one pair of yellow color substance and produce the product. There are five red color substance and there are four yellow color substance. So if one red color substance combines with the one yellow color substance to produce product then we can get four products and we one red color substance is left over why because here four red color substance combines with four yellow colored substance and one red color substance is excess here so here between these two reactants the amount of yellow color substance is less so the, this yellow colored substance is actually limiting reactant here now follow the next picture then it will be more clear to you. For example here green color balls and red color balls they are reactants and during after the reaction one red color ball is combined with green color ball and produce the product. So here six green color ball combines with six red color ball and produce 
the product but excess or extra six red color balls are left here so here the green color balls are the limiting reagent and the red color balls are the excess reagent i hope now we have become clear about the limiting reactant now we will practice some problems based on limiting reactant for example 14 gram magnesium reacts with 75 gram chlorine to produce the product from this stem we can easily solve these three types of problems which one is limiting reactant that means between magnesium and chlorine which one is limiting reactant here what amount of which substance will be residue that means what amount of um, which substance will remain unreacted or unchanged after the reaction and what is the amount of product also you can calculate the amount of product from the given measurement let's see the solution at first you have to write the related equation here our reaction is magnesium reacts with chlorine so our related equation will be magnesium reacts with chlorine and produce magnesium chloride if the equation is not balanced then in, the, in that case we have to balance first here we can see it is balanced equation so no need to balance now 24 gram magnesium reacts with 71 gram chlorine and produce 95 gram magnesium chloride so from this equation we can easily write 24 gram magnesium reacts with 71 gram chlorine so 14 gram magnesium which is given in your problem 14 gram magnesium reacts with 41.42 gram chlorine that means to react 14 gram magnesium it is needed 41.42 gram chlorine but there is given 75 gram chlorine that means the excess amount of chlorine is used in this reaction so here the amount of magnesium is less so magnesium is the limiting reactant this is the solution of first math which one is limiting reactant so already we have obtained between magnesium and chlorine magnesium is the limiting reactant here since the amount of magnesium is least here now so the required amount of residue that means now we have to determine the amount of excess substance the what amount of substance will be remain unreacted so the required amount of residue of chlorine because here chlorine is in more amount is used in this reaction so the required amount of residue of chlorine equal to from 75 gram we have to subtract the used amount of chlorine here 41.42 gram chlorine is actually needed for this reaction with 14 gram magnesium so if we subtract then we get 33.58 gram this is the answer of second problem what amount of which substance will be residue now what is the amount of product i have said that the amount of product is calculated from the amount of limiting reactant since here magnesium is the limiting reactant so from 24 gram magnesium magnesium chloride is produced at 5 gram so from 1 gram how many and from 14 gram magnesium here we get 55.42 gram magnesium chloride this is the answer of the c number problem what is the amount of product i hope you can clearly understand the solution of this problem follow another problem 20 gram sodium reacts with 16 gram oxygen to produce the product here also same questions like as before so what is our related equation sodium reacts with oxygen so sodium reacts with oxygen and produce what sodium oxide so follow the equation sodium reacts with oxygen and produce sodium oxide you have to write the formula correctly 
and we can see here this equation is the balance so for this we have to balance first the equation so here four atom of sodium reacts with one molecule of oxygen and produce two more sodium oxide so four mole sodium that means 92 gram sodium 4 into 23 atomic mass of sodium is 23 so 4 into 23 total 92 gram sodium reacts with 32 gram oxygen so 1 gram sodium reacts with how many and 20 gram sodium reacts with only 6.96 gram oxygen so reacts with 20 gram sodium there is needed amount of oxygen is only 6.96 gram but there is given 16 gram it is also present in more amount here so the amount of sodium is less between sodium and oxygen so here sodium is the limiting reactant so our first answer of first question is sodium now the required amount of residue of oxygen will be from given amount we have to subtract the used amount we get 9.04 gram so from the limiting reactant now we can easily calculate the amount of product from 92 gram sodium 124 gram sodium oxide is produced so from one how many and from 20 gram sodium we get 26.96 gram sodium oxide like this way easily we can solve this problem based on limiting reactant now i will discuss about percentage of yield actually the purest substance that is 99 percent or more than 99 percent pure substance are called anr so when the reactants are analog that means when the reactants are 99 percent or above 99 percent pure then the product is also pure the product will also produce pure product so here from the production of any product or after production of any product we have to calculate the percentage of yield that means from the obtained amount of product and from balanced equation theoretically calculated amount of product from these two product we have to calculate the percentage of yield that means what amount or what percent of yield is actually produced and we can determine the percentage of yield by this formula here percentage of yield equal to actual yield that is amount of product obtained from reaction that means there is a there is given amount of product in a reaction and divided by theoretical yield theoretical yield means calculated amount of product from reaction that means from balanced equation we can easily calculate the amount of product in case of given reactant into 100 so the formula percentage of yield is actual yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 from this or using this formula we can easily determine the percentage of yield for example when heat is applied to 80 gram calcium carbonate it yields 39 gram calcium oxide find the percentage of yield at first you have to understand the reaction which one is reactant and which one is product here follow this reaction here heat is applied to calcium carbonate that means calcium carbonate is reactant here and it yields that means it produces 39 gram calcium oxide so calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is our product here now there is 
given amount of product is 39 gram so this 39 gram actually the actual yield amount of product obtained from reaction from this reaction we obtained what amount 39 gram of calcium oxide now we have to calculate first the theoretical yield that means from the balanced equation in case of 80 gram calcium carbonate the calculated amount of calcium oxide will be the theoretical yield so from these two data we can easily find the percentage of yield of this reaction follow the solution at first you have to write related equation calcium carbonate due to applying heat then are produced calcium oxide and carbon dioxide now we know that uh, this is already balanced equation so here molecular mass of calcium carbonate is 100 gram and um, there is uh, product only highlighted calcium oxide that is 56 gram so according to question from 100 gram calcium carbonate we get 56 gram calcium oxide so 1 gram calcium carbonate and from 80 gram calcium carbonate we get 44.8 gram calcium oxide so here the calculated amount of product from reaction that is theoretical yield is 44.8 now percentage of yield equal to actual yield 39 gram divided by theoretical yield 44.8 gram into 100 so our percentage of yield is 87.05 percent like this way we can easily calculate the percentage of yield my dear students today up to this and this is the last topic actually of this chapter next class i will discuss about the question answer and then i will take a test on this chapter you will get the message by the time today i also kept here some homework for extra practice so uh, here are some maths of limiting reactant two maths of limiting reactant and three maths of percentage of yield so please do the maths carefully sincerely and please don't share with each other and submit in my personal id so today up to this goodbye